Hello and welcome to Tutorials, I am Sam and today Matt is here to give us some Reactor Basic tutorials for 3DS Max, so over to Matt. You didn't say tutorials right, you said tutorials not tutorials. I'll just get on with the tutorials. Get out. I said get out, thank you. Okay, now we're going to do some Reactor Basics, so let's make a plane and a box. Just a normal square box like that and then we're gonna go into that view hold shift and drag it and then copy it three times like that and then we're gonna select all of them by holding control and click and then shift click again and then three copies look at that there's like a million boxes now we're gonna select all of them move them up and up and now they're floating Let's scale the plane up. Um, so now they are floating. Now we're going to create a rigid body collection. Click add and then select all of them and but don't select rigid body collection. And now you click and drag over all of the boxes, go to object properties and then set the mass to about five. Uh, make it bounding box and then we set the plane it's a concave mesh and you'll no no inactive yeah otherwise it will just fall over fall over then you hit that button and then press play they fall down and you can just move about hold right click and you can throw boxes everywhere look at it it's falling it's falling you're like God playing with boxes. Look at that. Buy boxes. Okay. Let's change it and add another box underneath it. So there's a box. Make it bigger. And then we need to add that to the rigid body collection. So you click on it. Go to modify, pick, and just click on the box. And then object properties not unyielding. I think no that's fine no yes yes preview it hit play boom they fall down and it's all oh, oh that one just fell off fell off fell off yes quite um then you can create animation click OK then it's done close that and then look at it look at that look at that that's just awesome you got boxes falling on boxes. Everything you'd ever want. Look at that. Oh. Now you could do this with like as many boxes as you well, not as many boxes as you want. Oh, and also keep it at one time speed. This is normal speed. Boom. There you go. Look at that. Boxes fall down. And Yeah. Boing. Like I said, you can do it with as many boxes as you want. Um, here's one I made earlier, which is massive, going on YouTube. Uh, whoa, that's a bit fast. Let's stop it. Stop. There we go. Look at that. Blah. This took about half an hour to simulate. Usually, reactor simulations take about a few seconds but this one it's massive look at it it's like falling down boh yeah took about 20 minutes to render with a daylight system Mendel Ray. whoa don't want to go on that let's find it massive there we go there it is let's set it to that speed quarter speed here it is Ignore that the boxes are randomly appearing. Don't blame me. Blame 3ds Mac. Look at it. They're falling down. Boing, 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 boing. I live right there. That was my house. <coughs> and for this scene, you can see there's lots of boxes. Um, many a box. We've got. It's got a camera move on it, which I have. A camera which is linked to a path. Look at it, it moves along the path. 
That's quite easy to do, but I won't tell you how to do it. Because I'm that mean. And I've got a daylight system just for the rendering. Basic sun. And this is how many boxes there are. Once I find it. Where is it? There it is. 1,168. Yeah. Please don't try do try and do that sort of simulation at home because it will break your computer. It mine barely survived. I also made another camera which is a super wide angle lens. Here it is. It's gonna get crushed by the building. No. Okay. Ignore the boxes which fall through the floor as well. They are not meant to. They are not meant to touch the floor. Otherwise, it will just fall, fall straight through it. It is not meant to happen. Yeah. Back to that camera. There it is falling down again. There we go. Awesome. Thank you, Matt. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial. You better have. <laughs> well, I know where you live. Well, I can find out. And with that lovely word of advice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Have you ever seen a multicolored sim? No. Look at that multicolored sim. Okay. And we'll see you later.